guys, what if I were to tell you that you used to have a secret second inventory in Murder Mystery 2, which held a lot of special untradeable items in the game? Yeah, I know that's a lot to take in. This actually ended up getting removed from Murder Mystery 2 a few years ago. But you may be wondering what items were in our secret inventory and what items ended up getting removed from the game. So I think to understand what these items were, we have to know what this second inventory was made for and how we accessed it. So this is actually available in our inventory and if you went to the crafting station, the UI looked a little bit different with an extra screen to see your crafting inventory. So there were some items that were only attainable through crafting, but these special items weren't actually like knives or guns or anything. They were actually like miscellaneous items, very similar to like the mystery keys and like boxes of wrapping paper and stuff. So you couldn't actually use it in game, but it also was not tradable. So it was extremely useless, but it was interesting to see your inventory of these items. But yeah, these items were just used to craft other items in the game. And these items were very useful back in like original Murder Mystery 2 events, like specifically like Christmas event 2016, 17, and 18, and those events are very focused on crafting. But unfortunately, since this did get removed, I can't actually show you what my secret inventory looked like. I know I had some items, but I'll show a video up on screen of what a crafting inventory looked like and what sort of items you could be seeing there. So yeah, most of these items did end up getting deleted. Not all of them, actually. For example, all the different shards in the game are still in the game, as well as the godly metal is still in the game as well. You just can't see them in your inventory. You'll see like a number of how much you have like in the crafting like for example i have 55 godly shards since i like salvaged the heat at one point for some reason but yeah there are so many different crafting only items it's actually insane and it's very sad all these did end up getting deleted since these are all like very nostalgic items and be very interesting to look at like a lot of people's og crafting inventories in the game like for example stuff like these blue tokens and christmas tokens these are like og christmas currencies that are no longer in the game and also a lot of these like toy parts as well which were used for christmas crafting and you had to help create gifts and like wrap them up for St. Nicholas for the event. And there was other stuff too, like for example, like a gingerbread man godly crafting recipe. As well as like a gold bar crafting recipe that was used to make ginger luger. As well as like a fire orb and water orb, which were both items that you had to salvage a heat and tides for. So you could end up crafting the flames godly. Well, flames ancient at the time. But yeah, all these items were completely useless after the event ends. So it does make sense why Nicholas deleted them from the game. But hear me out. What if Nicholas ended up making these items tradable instead of deleting them. I don't think you could do that anymore since the damage has already been done, but I feel like that would make a lot of sense if he made them tradable because we have tradable miscellaneous items in the game. Like for example, like these original Halloween candies and skeleton keys, as well as a lot of these Christmas miscellaneous items like boxes of wrapping paper, fertilizer, gifts, snowflake keys. Like we had a lot of like tradable miscellaneous items that are very similar to like these crafting items. So, like even though they're not like a knife, so you can't use them in game. It'd be cool to like be able to like trade these for like any collection in the game that would like to like still have these like for those that would just like to like possess a blue token or like a toy robot piece or something like that or like a gingerbread man like I feel like those would have been so rare if they were still in games it's like not a whole lot of people would really care about them but guys please let me know in the comments what you guys think about all of these secret crafting items that got deleted from the game do you guys wish that they were still in game despite them being useless now or do you guys think that Nicholas made the right decision by deleting them from the game because personally I think it'd be cool to still see them in the game and like see them tradable and stuff since that would just like expand the mm2 economy even more like why not do that and we already have a lot of these tradable miscellaneous items might as well expand that a little bit more but i understand why nicholas deleted it even if i'm a little bit upset by it but yeah guys that's about it to this video so i'm gonna end it off here so one last time goodbye